Yeah, the yeah. ends are this far apart. Yes. There's no, there's no, there, where is the middle ground? So we are the middle class. The, I don't feel middle class anymore. There is no middle, middle class, class anymore. Yes, and if it's, I'm so sorry, blessings. And if it's this how I'm feeling, I can imagine people lower on the economic scale yes. right now. How they have to lose. What do you want from Nigerians? And I looked at that guy as he was pumping the guy. And I was thinking to myself this morning, ha, I, can still, I, can, I can say I can afford it. Yeah. But what about but other even, people? No, people? Even in their fair, what is it that the Nigerians start to drink water from uh -huh. gutters? Uh -huh. It's until we run, we use blood to run our vehicles. Um, we're paying for care. Besides, we're paying for light. We're paying our children's school fees. Ladies, do you know how many I'll, parents I'll are not paying? Break. Ah. I can't do this. Honestly, it has gotten to the point that you need to work out from the set. Yes, my people, because the level of hardship in Nigeria now is out of hand. Not getting is already bad, like bad, bad, bad. Like it's affecting everyone, all Nigerians, both those that are living in abroad and those that are living in Nigeria. So if you claim that what is happening now in Nigeria is not affecting you, then you are a liar. Honestly, I read one post today. Where somebody said that before he normally clear his 40 feet container with 5 to 7 million, but right now it's 20 to 21 million. Then what do you think that will happen to those that are going to buy this particular goods from this particular person, my people? Like things are really hard. Nigerians are suffering. I don't even know whether Tunubu do just for Nigerians, honestly, because Tunubu will just wake up any day, any time and do whatever he wants to do and nothing will happen. Like he will throw anything to Nigeria. Nigerians and Nigerians, they are ready to catch it, swallow it, and even move on as if nothing happened. Look at what Remy Tnubu said that her husband is rich, not greedy. He is not the cause of the economic hardship in Nigeria. My people, then who caused it, my people? Is it Nigerians that said subsidy is gone in the inauguration day? Is it Nigerians that are making all these e policies that landed us in this calamity? Like these people don't even know the kind of heart they have to come out and be talking like trash, even to the extent of even blaming Nigerians of what is even happening now. Saying that Nigeria should be working hard that uh, in two years, that we see what God is going to do in Nigeria. Like, is Nigeria going to be alive in that two years you are talking about? This is one year plus that you guys have been telling Nigerians to be patient, to be patient. Like, this is too much for Nigerians. Enough is enough. Like, which way, my people? How long are Nigerians going to continue like this? It's too much now, my people. Even federal governments are now asking Nigerians to start using bicycle. And I remember when Mazin Nadekano said something like this, that you need to go and buy your bicycle and keep it because time will come when you will need it. And it is happening, my people. Let me allow you guys to listen and hear their reaction concerning what uh, Remy Tinubu said, that her husband is not the cause of the economic hardship in Nigeria. You people did not see my WhatsApp status. So what's up? I paid 55,000 naira this morning for fuel. Oh, okay. And that's not full tank. Fumbolo <laughs> full tank. Okay. That's not full tank. <laughs> full tank. So right now, <laughs> long, long. Christmas, I don't even know if I'm going to survive till Christmas. <laughs> so, Moshe, why I can't be. I, I'm, hey, full when tank. What was your. Uh, my full tank gauge. last week Before. was about 60 something thousand. And so I, I have, uh, so I, do you see, that's my, that, that's my tank this morning. 55,167 naira. Ah, that's a picture of it. That's not that, I, so I told the you must take a picture of it. Why did you, you, you didn't get from NNPC. Eh? Did you see Q? Do you want me to be here on time this morning? My Lord. So, yeah, and that's with three bars me. left. Yeah. So yeah. by the time I do full tank, you people will pay for you guys, you'll carry me to this office. Honestly. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I, can't. Me, I, will only I would no. only drive my car now mm. when it's absolutely mm. necessary. Yep. Because if you are not making adequate plans, mm -mm. you are going to run bankrupt. It ha it has mm. It's that. not something that you can compromise. My friend, had, uh, she has a business in Ekbe. Now she says she has to like make sure that all her meetings, everything, she fixes them like in two days, what she would have done in four days mm -hmm. or five. Now she will make sure that everything terminates in two days, yes. and that's the maximum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone asked. We can't do how long. What else do they want us to do? I said Is it that until so many people start dying on the road? We have to be now intentional. COVID taught us that to be more structured in our organizations and in our meetings. Someone reached out to me yesterday and said we should see this evening. See, I said my my brother, I, I'm not sure I'm with you there. We have to plan. I said, ah, ah. 
Is it that bad? Yes, is that bad? Yes, it is. Is that bad? So in advance, so that people can navigate and plan how to live from place A to place B. People have to be intentional. This thing you said, you will only drive your car when it's absolutely. And I think the government that are, they are doing all these terrible things to the people should they not be making adequate plans for transportation? Come on. Let us see more BRT see, buses see, on right the road, now, more CNG, bother. so that you will not feel bad well, like entering a bus. Like, you said they're doing terrible things mm -hmm. to people. They, you think their priority will be making alternative plans. And I think that we're going back to the era, I don't know who said it yesterday, that we'll get to a point where people prefer to have Zoom meetings, people prefer to have uh -uh. work from home than coming. It, it feels like we're but in a, lot we're in a of COVID us era. As companies and even as a society, we don't have the full infrastructure for work from home. Yes. Let me. Oh my God. When data you, starts can, to can I tell you how much my compound electricity bill is? Ah. My husband has been on a tear. We got a bill of one million hey. this month. Eight flats. And <laughs> it was my daughter that told me because before because he already ranted to her yeah. the nanny. And he's rant, he, not rants, he's very well, of a course. million naira. I don't understand. For what I don't exactly. understand. And then I've just paid 55. I, no, and do when you, I use are you 12, producing, is he, is, is he a manufacturing I company? Enjoy, I, be Larry, I don't know. <laughs> is he a manufacturing company? Wow. We have off two fridges in my house, only one freezer is working. I so these are the adjustments we're nice. talking about that people are having to make. make. And I, I barely drive basically to the office. So most times the full time will take me a week and a yeah. half, a few days. So every two weeks you want me to be paying 50. Something upwards of hundred and seventy thousand. In fact, when your when your fuel tank ah. is now on half, you begin to you panic. You panic because that's where your budget takes you to. Yes. If your budget, if your fuel tank comes lower than half to a quarter, or even kissing the E, ha, mm -hmm. you know that e you're because looking you at a hundred thousand. Yes. These days, once exactly. it gets to yeah. half, I'm trying to I'm buy. Trying to buy because yes. I can't predict what will happen in Nigeria. Yes. But see, we talked about. Families having to choose which child goes to school. Yes. If any child at this point in time, we spoke about one zero one. People right now are doing zero zero one. One. I told you about the lady one. who said she eats every other day yeah. because of her children. And I simply do not understand. Yeah. We're in a country where this is a natural resource that comes from. Kile, fair. What, what do, do you, you want? want? What do you and like? I, yes, I'm so sorry. I was, I'm vibrating right now. I am now. unhappy. Yes, I'm I was, vibrating. I'm trying to cook concoction. Ah. Right. Do you know that I bought. One smoked titles for mm -hmm. 2,500. Oh, and yeah. I wanted the rice to really be fishy so that it would be nice. So multi that's ma that multiplied by five. Because all of them were scrawny like this. Uh, and you wanted it to buffer your soup. That means at home now, I'm telling my children that, oh yeah, you know that thing that they used to serve rice in party? Mm. That one that you pack that rice inside and used to do one scoop. Yes. One. I yes. think it's two scoops everybody's going to be eating. Yes. Because Drink you cannot continue yeah. like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. How, many, how many families can afford more than... One family told me that, a friend of mine told me that in their house, she and her husband will share one egg. And their three children will share one egg. So that they can spread the 6,200 mm. naira crates. Crate. Yes, six Now, Idris and uh, Yaput, they are selling one egg, 300, some 250. And you ask them, what, are they, what, what is their gain in there? I don't you know. know. People, their gains are not, they are very tiny. If and yet you will hear some of them telling us that, oh, now that the, the president is on vacation, that by the time he returns, he will have the brainwave on how to move us forward. No, no, no. Are you that. kidding me? He's saying that, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. so disheartening and right, painful. See, right now, I'm even annoyed at this bar. And it's even, let me even tell you, I'm the one who approved the bar, but I realize NMPC is 998. My own is one, I, I bought 1,050 1, naira. Yes. Yes. So it is 1,050 1, naira. How many of us have the time? To queue at, at an NPC. NPC. We are trying to make the ends meet. Let me tell you, the ends are this far apart right now. And yeah, please, the guys ends, be wary. I, I want you to see me, please. Nigerians, the ends are this far yeah, apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. ends are this far apart. Yes. There's no, there's no, there, where is the middle ground? For me, the middle class. The, I don't feel middle class there's there's no more. Middle My class anymore. My socioeconomic standing has changed. And if it's, I'm so sorry, middle. blessings. And if it's this how I'm feeling, I can imagine people lower on the economic scale yeah. right now. How they have... Tolu, what do you want from Nigerians? And I looked at that guy, he was pumping the guy, and I was thinking to myself this morning, ha, I, can still, I, can, I can say I can afford it, yeah. but what about but other even, people? No, people? Even people even if they they what is it that until want? Nigeria start to drink water from uh -huh. gutters? Uh -huh. It's until we, run, we use blood to run our vehicles. Vehicle. Um, we're paying for fear, besides, we're paying for light, we're paying our children's school fees. Ladies, do you know how many I'm, parents are not paying? I can't do this.
Uh, you know, in, in, in the midst of in the midst of fuel and in, in in since we're talking about the fuel issue, I was saying that there's even bad fuel out there. So if you got if you if you're going to queue for fuel, there is bad fuel. Some vehicles smoke, something, you know, they yeah. say, the plugs begin to get so affected. So the thing is, then, what, what so we should be careful. Most times when we hear about this fuel, Cholo has every right to be upset. Yeah. Of course she does. It's not even about the fuel. You guys are not understanding that there are people, the more the, the fuel prices are going up, people are panicking. Panicking! Yeah. Already, and it's not even about having cars. It's about I, how, how much do you now sustain? buy rice in the market. Do you, Can I they say, still afford eggs? Can they still afford I eggs? say every time I go to the market... I have anxiety issues of every course. time every I say time. I'm going to the market because you make a list, my dear sisters. And when you go the to the market, you, have cannot. you are weak. Honestly, you are weak. It, it, it's it, it's not even something we need. To, it's, it's something we should cry about. I, I have a large family. I don't think that there is still a conversation about middle class anymore. Middle I'm class. Not going to lie, and I'm going to be very honest. It's rich and poor now. I Tolu is okay. I it's all right. I, listen, we understand Sorry. where Tolu. We understand where <laughs> Tolu is coming from because, and, and everybody that knows Tab right knows yet. that Tab is the coolest. Is the calmest yeah. of, of 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 the of the pack. So no today. <laughs> no no today. The, I I, I believe you. What we're talking Tab about. is always the one who puts everything together. But you see, amidst all this, even the strongest person, uh, the rich are crying. The strongest. The rich are not crying. Down. The rich are in bed with the political elite. Lola, don't tell me the rich uh, are crying. It's a, it's a phrase. When they say the rich are crying, that means we're talking thing. about middle class. There's no middle class. There's no, There's no middle class. class. No the rich are not class. crying. Yeah, if they were crying, they would go to their friends in the political elite and they would tell them, Do you are setting this country on fire. Even they yeah. are feeling it is what I'm telling you. you. Know, I, I, I know I, many businesses that are running on debts. They are collecting money from this bank to pay this one. That's to why do this, they're to do, in bed they have been with doing the powers. It for, in, since time immemorial. I know, I know how many times I've had to adjust my budget. And I was talking to a friend that I was adjusting my budget. And I said, you still have budget. That's when the, salary comes, the first thing you can, you buy, can buy is just buy, buy and rest. Do you know that? So Don't tell me to I, move. Oh. I'm praying oh. that by oh. the end of this month, oh. I have to make sure I buy another bag of rice. Because the last one yeah, that you I were bought about, about 95000 I know when I get there now, it's going to be like a hundred and something. Yeah, who knows what it's going to be by two hours? And says the rice, the tomatoes to cook it, oil, the gas, the oil. 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 This, this so I think guys, next week, our Jassiri on the street has to be in the market. No, because will, this is no. October. It, We're it, heading it, towards it, crisp. It, it. I it, will, it will have see, to be in the market. You know I don't that know. there oftentimes English fails me. And that's why I'm reverting yeah. to your because me understand. Uh, me uh, 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 because English is not enough to under, to, to express the frustration uh, uh, and the anger I'm feeling. Uh, you are leaders in a country that is being referred to often as the poverty capital of the world. You're sitting down with fuel, something that we own, own that is our food. own, is sitting what the how are you many not even people can afford that that it? We are even suffering with hunger. I Imagine if we had home. national disasters. I said I problem. spoke to family in Cameroon and they said, ah, if you're complaining about fuel, we that get fuel from you, how are we do how do you think we're doing it? And you know, it, it's a it's just listen. We don't know the gravity and the ripple effect of what's going on. Uh, former aviation minister, I think, Honorable Chibike Rutumiamechi, in an interview he, he gave, he said, oh, Nigerians, he, doesn't, he, he didn't expect that Nigerians would take this sitting down. You expect yeah. that Nigerians should be on the And he got a lot of flack for that. And Nigerians should find a way to protest and find a way to... Because the truth is, in the midst of all of this, Nigerians are, are still finding a way to laugh. Excuse me. Are they Excuse mocking me. us? Yeah. I, I won't finish the sentence, but I'll start it. Kole what? Emma Soma. Don't, yeah. don't. She understands. Kole Kini. That comment wow. that Rotimi Amechi made, uh -huh. Kole, what? Mm -hmm. You're, you're outside, what? you know what I mean. Okay. Uh, mm -mm. Please honestly, let's move on. honestly mm -mm. It, it, it's mm -mm. not funny. Because the truth is, in the whole quagmire, mm -mm. Nigerians mm -mm. are still mm -mm. finding a way to laugh. How mm -mm. we do it, frankly, mm -mm. I have I no idea. idea. I know that being able to make light of if every situation is actually what got us here. But ladies, even if we could use a little laughter right now i don't know if we can but I, i'm sorry before you go I, I think that so we said it over and over again but i think i'm coming to realize that nigerians are not finding a way to laugh or adapt people are dying in silence i think that's the situation when we're talking about depression yesterday it yes. dawned on me that a lot of people are too scared to come out and say this thing is affecting me mentally because other people will say oh are you the only one i'm so scared 
of what the statistics of suicide yes. would be by the end of this year, by the end of next year. Because we're, we're looking at it as people are coming and they're coping online. I don't think we're coping. coping. I think Get. people are going through it. And it's going to start affecting people's minds. And people are going to start taking drastic actions. That's when we realized that they were not laughing after all. They were only just hiding. They were masking Do their you know how many companies I, I know that is retrenching and sacking people? Yeah. Because they are trying to cut back. Yeah. I can tell you grade A offices, at least I entered three in Victoria Island. Yeah. I'm not lying to you. They have big expanses of office. Do you know now they stop putting off their AC? In, a, in an office that has like maybe 12 ACs, they'll put on only two. And they've added fans to their offices because they are trying to cut costs. When, how long are we going to be on this table? I know it's funny for many people. Do you know me as a parent? Look at the list of, of parents in my children's school. Some have not even been able to pay 40% of their children's school fees. Yeah, but you know, that the, the truth is, at the end of it all, what do we do? The power lies within us. The power lies. We have to find a way to confront these issues. We can complain about them all we want. But if we don't find a way to come to the center and find the core of what this, is, this all means and find a way to actually navigate through them, not by only words, but actions as well, until we begin to think about that and then recalibrate our minds as well as to how to confront these issues. Until we begin to do that, then I'm sorry we are not going to go anywhere. Let's take a look at these tweets that I found. Uh, I'm struggling to catch my breath. I needed the ladies to see it as well. I know Gofisi, I'm by myself. Let's take a look. All right. God knew what he was doing when he didn't add natural disasters. He took it. <laughs> Listen. He took it so right out of my No, the ones we have is enough. Oh, it's a, this, imagine having imagine to, we're having a hurricane no, in Nigeria. Bro, imagine having to deal with Tinubu and fuel price hike and sudden <laughs> or, or hurricane China, China carries your, your, carries your compound to the next local government. <laughs> my, see, my brother, Orichin, we are already in that time for the disaster, we would be busy discussing why <laughs> name it Chinasa when we can name it Audu since the wave is moving northward. And then one or two more will say it should have been named Ogune since the wave originated from Lagos Shores. <laughs> the nonsense would have been discussing at that time. All of you are even laughing. A lot of people will be dying on the streets. I generally think if we had those disasters, there's a big chance would be more developed because we'd have no choice. Guy, no we lie. naturally <laughs> have things easy and it allows us to get away with not being innovative in mm. certain scenarios. Yeah. Uh, I, Are I, you I telling know. me that we'll get innovative? <laughs> Make you wake up once you say, hurricane, if you don't move car, where you just sit and... <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> <"Move in there." laughs> I didn't see that coming. Please, uh, I just you uh, just fry me. I didn't see that coming. Why Hurricane Fion of uh, all names? What? That's uh, man for 50k. My God, 50k Fion. There's, one, there's, there's one, one I saw. The person said, "Imagine making a bar at 1 a.m. in the morning, and the hurricane just removes your roof." <laughs> what I was going to say, I, I'm coming down. I was going to say, we're talking about uh, fuel. It will remove Lola's bag of rice. <laughs> <laughs> it will remove my eggs and my yam from a oh shot. I don't, so that thread is, it it's, gave me a little bit of laughter yesterday. Yeah. And people were saying, why China, sir? We apologize to all the China stars <laughs> around that, Nigeria. I know we're someone, not, so in, we're in not tweet, responsible. Somebody was saying that, you know, most China stars, they look like they're fierce and strong. <laughs> that, so that's why it should be <laughs> <laughs> but can we, So we talk about natural disasters, yeah. the flooding that happened in Borno. We see how the handling. Oh. Borno State has now declared a cholera emergency and outbreak. What? And if we just think about that, just think. See, guys, I've been through three tornadoes in my lifetime. Wow. You, you don't, you don't hmm? ever I want I to experience I even the just the winds coming from a tornado. No, there were winds some days ago. Yeah. Yeah. That wind from yeah. the yeah. rain. It was so ah. scary. I, I saw the footage. It did not come. Florida. It looked like tornado winds. Uh, and, and, and I was like, God, imagine somebody that just jackpot. And in Florida, you went and oh. you have just stayed one month. Village people follow you. It could be like, say, village people, they follow they you. you. If this kind of thing, look at what's happening in Bordeaux. Mm. We can barely cook. They are throwing bread. Imagine it's happening in 12, city, uh, 12 states in the Federation. And, and somebody was saying that um, we, we will be innovating. I don't, I'm sorry, in I don't Nibu. agree with that because even the little ones. They'll just fly their family abroad and they will leave the place while sharing of rice to them. Imagine that situation spread across different states. I remember when Kogi State was, I think, was flooded. For like weeks, people could not move. My mother was stuck in her house. 
Uh, tell me, we'll be innovative. Let's move on, though. Is it not, no, no, true, uh, 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 the, uh, the government? <laughs> Let's not go there. They're saying that you, you should join the military. I think we don't have the one that is doing us. So, so um, we, we've got more to unpack. and uh, this should be Vent Friday. Friday event. <laughs> and then there Vent was a story Friday. that we were supposed to take yesterday, the, the whole drama, and we couldn't take it. So I think that we can do that now. Um, once again, we'll be opening our phone lines uh, to you all. We promise to give you all the drama between Burner Boy and Speed Dallington, and we're keeping our word this morning. But that, uh, that mm. comes... Mm. <laughs> right after the new break, they've told us not to go on break. Okay. So you even want me to enter gear two? Do you understand? Yeah. Listen, and I'm, I'm, let's I'm, take this first. Move on to that next. Uh, the actual lady. She, she doesn't want. She doesn't want to, to go to gear two. That's why she's telling. Let us move on to Ashwabi. The Ashwabi lady. Please. What okay. Done uh, before the Ashwabi <laughs> lady, our Senate what? president has a few words for us. Uh, Catherine, oh, that one is another annoying thing. Catherine, please go ahead. My God. All right, so our phone lines are open. I don't know if you're feeling the way we're feeling, but phone lines are open, numbers on your on your screens. Please call in and be part of our conversation. Also, we're live on our, all our social media platforms. We're at New Central TV. As our government has refused to give us rest, we too will refuse to give them peace. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We're tilting back attention to the federal government. Our Senate President, Godswill Akwabio, is up next. So, what did he do? Well... Our beloved senator is appealing to all Nigerians this time around to love Nigeria more than we love money. Wow. Like my daughter would say, wow, mommy, wow. Speaking on the floor of the Senate on Tuesday while com commenting on a motion seeing to address mass immigration in Nigeria, Akbabio beckoned on Nigerians to place their love for the country above financial gain, saying that the country will be better if citizens who are skilled in various fields stayed back in the country. He says, and I quote, the country is losing its expertise. If they acquired that expertise and returned to Nigeria, it would have been better. I also think the conditions of service are quite responsible. I believe people should place love for their country above financial gains. That is why many of us choose to remain here. <laughs> End choose of to quote. remain with wait, wait, brother. See. Clap for yourself. Wait, wait, Bless that's something. I just is very now, Aquavio said that the massive migration of Nigerians has adversely impacted the country's health sector as well as the educational sector. And according to him, in the educational sector, the disadvantages are too numerous because some of the departments do not have even up to fifty percent staff strength. So what then are you teaching our children? That's what he said. It's like a computer, garbage in, garbage out. The Senate president said the National Assembly would continue to do its best to better the lives of teachers so that they could stay back and impact future generations. I can see the steam coming out of some people. So I'll start mm -mm. with... Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Don't come this way. Okay. Don't come this way. No, do not come this way. So they know how to take care of teachers. Oh, my God, not and today. we have an impending ASU strike. Listen. So they know how to take care of the educational sector. Do so they, they acknowledge that there is problem there. You know, they can say the things they say. Eh? When I look at them sometimes, I'm looking intently that, are these really humans? Yeah. Maybe truly that evil thing they said that they've cloned them all. Mm -hmm. And they're taking all our leaders and hiding them somewhere. Mm -hmm. And these people are clones. That means they are not functioning as, as humans. Because you cannot tell me that you will put financial games, gains aside and put love of country. What has country done for you? It's the sea finish. What has Nigeria it? done for you? No, we don't understand. That you be telling me that you give your life for the country. No, no, How don't. many people can? We don't understand. So when your family is hungry, you be telling us that that's why you choose to stay in the country? Don't. Why don't you choose to stay in the country as civilians, I, I, not as respect. people in politics? Don't, that nobody is should the ever point. make that statement again. Stay nobody as civilians. in government should let, ever make that, let that, that them, statement again. Let our Senate again. president become just an Igbo man that does business. Uh -uh. In present day Nigeria, man. he has no political affili affiliations, he has no political connections. Go and see how many people's businesses are folding up. Because dollar is so more, it's so expensive. So let me, it, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to keep okay. calm. There are two it's points I want to make. Unfortunate. His comments are a complete disrespect, denial, and dismissal of the reality of millions of Nigerians. He sits in a seat of power and privilege and preaches to Nigerians about choosing love of country over Jackba. Jackba. People have lost their lives in hospitals that are underfunded and understaffed. Your National Assembly 
has the right and the power to ensure that there's funding for the education sector, for the health sector. You're telling us to choose country over, over. money, over our lives. I also want to point out that mm -hmm. the Senate president, Godzilla Fabio, gives us greatest hits. Because this is a man yes. who unfortunately I do not think understands the seat he currently occupies. Mm. Let me give you some references. At Herbert Wigwe's funeral, he responded to Senator Sim Fubara, who appealed to the political class to reflect on the purpose of their struggle. And he said, I will answer you, answering the governor. We are not talking politics. In 2006, I wanted to become the deputy governor, and the then deputy governor invited me and said, this office has no money. There's nothing in it. I don't know why you still insist on removing me from here and taking over. So a woman who went with me said, Your Excellency, don't wait for impeachment, just resign, since there is nothing in it. And I told him, Your Excellency, don't punch the woman. She's telling the truth. There is nothing in it. That's why I want to say to you, because you're too big for it. Your Excellency, Governor Fubara, if there's nothing in the struggle, don't struggle. At somebody's funeral. Yeah. At the funeral of, uh, of a man who a was an inspiration. He did not know. Who gave the... to the country. Yeah. Please, we have a phone call. I still have some more greatest hits for us from Please. Aquabia. Yeah. Uh. Obina from Lagos, please join the conversation. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay. All right, so ladies, um, a few things. Um, I appreciate the fact that um, you're taking our time to talk about proper social issues, things happening, affecting everyone in society today, not just banal, trivial things. And I honestly... Um, I understand what that lady went through or what she's going through now, the one who had to walk off the set. It is frustrating. It's not that out there. It's frustrating. A country that has crude oil should never suffer. That's one basic fact of this earth that people don't understand. If you have crude oil, other nations will be jealous of you. Your people, your people should never suffer. So it's sad because, quite frankly, this fuel price increase would have translated already to the markets, public transportation, food, gary, utilities, everything. And then when our Senate president comes by, no offense, but I think, excuse my language, I think he's just taking piss when he comes out and says things like this. Because it's 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 annoying if you know what is going on in the country. You know that you are part of the one percent. You know that what you I won't say what you earn, what you take, because quite frankly, I don't think they deserve mm. what they take home on a monthly basis. But you know that what you take home every month as semi president is probably more than what most bank MDs take home every month. Their children are abroad in schools, all of them. Their children are abroad. Their families aren't here. And then you come and you tell us, oh, no, don't leave the country. Stay. Be like me. Be like me. Really? So it's unfortunate and it's painful. And the honest truth is, one day, you know, it's like a balloon that you fill up with water. Mm. Yes, it will, it will keep taking on water. And then one day, mm. it will pop. It will explode. That's the honest truth. There's a limit to which you can push people, especially in Nigeria. There's a limit to which you can push people to the war. And unfortunately, we got here because of, with the greatest respect, ethnic tribal sentiments. Oh, oh, now, we have to let you go because of a break coming up, but mm. we'll continue this because. I still want to give you greatest hits. And then yeah, I, I went and I saw an article that this day wrote mm -hmm. about the Senate president. Yeah. And I need to quote them yeah. for all of us to hear. Yeah. We'll yeah. take a quick time out. When we come back, it's more conversation. I need to laugh because I don't know. My, I, I have goosebumps because of how angry and frustrated I am. Uh, we're talking about the Senate President, Godzilla Fabio, and his comments urging Nigerians not to jack to choose the country over money. And I was saying that this Senate President has given us greatest hits. So he uh -huh. talked about the comments he made at Herbert Wigwe's uh, yeah. funeral. He also said, apparently, when he did not know that he was being recorded live during a Senate session, uh, in order to enable us to enjoy our holidays, a token has been sent to your various accounts by the clerk of the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. When he was told by colleagues that he was still live, he now took it back and said, uh, I withdraw the statement. In order to allow you to enjoy your holiday, the Senate president has sent prayers to your mailboxes. <laughs> 
to assist you to have a safe journey and return. He always, he has also insulted Nigerians. You know, the president, when he was a candidate, was talking about some of the reforms the CBN was doing and said, let the poor breathe. Poor breathe. Yeah. Our Senate president said, the prayer is that, let the poor breathe. And Senator Mustafa has seconded that, poor, that the poor should breathe. Those who are in support of the additional prayer that the poor should be allowed to breathe say aye, and those who are against it say nay. In response, senators chorused aye, to which Apabio reported the eyes have it. The poor must be allowed to breathe. He has gone, he has gone at Senator uh, Natasha Apoti Odoaga oh, yeah. and said that she was speaking like she was, she was at a nightclub. Night There's even one now between him and Senator Adams Oshio Male. You occupy the Senate presidency seat of the country. You are the third citizen. As the Federal Republic, should anything happen to the president and the vice president, you yeah, are next up in line. next. You and know, this is the person we but, have but in you, line. You know that Akbabio is not the only one who is interested. Oh, please, wait, wait. <laughs> I promised you guys what this day said about the Senate president. And I think it's important to have newspapers who are willing to take... Uh, who willing to take the fight to power. Yeah. So this day said, historically, Fabio has made several contentious remarks that have drawn criticism. As far back as 2013, he embarrassed party members by offering one million naira to each hungry PDP chairman, a gesture that was widely seen as insensitive. In the same month, he confessed to election, uh, election rigging on live TV, which greatly tarnished his reputation at that time as it reinforced his regard for ethical standards as Senate President. Akpabio's tenure as Niger Delta Affairs Minister also featured ungraceful comments such as his accusation that lawmakers were corruptly benefiting from NDDC contracts. Let me move forward. Akpabio's latest remarks alongside his past comments illustrate a consistent failure to exhibit the presidential grace and sensitivity expected of his position. His history of unguarded statements and dismissive attitudes towards serious issues is one reason critics label him as disrespectful and unserious, despite the fact that he ranks third in Nigeria as the Senate president. Thank you, this day. Honestly, are you expecting them to have respect for us when our Senate president does not, does not even know what it means to have guarded words? It, it's, it's rife in polity. That's mm -hmm. why I keep saying that they don't have any regard. I don't even think they use the team that they pay around them to do the work they cannot do for themselves. It's just annoying. But he's not, the country is like, <clears throat> we're acting drama on a daily basis now. Yeah. Because Akpabio is not the only one who has interesting words to say. Our very dear <laughs> First Lady, uh, Her Excellency uh, Uluremi Tinubo, she wants us to know everybody. He says, her husband is not the cause of the hardship. Oh, my husband is not among of it. What you are going through, whatever is making all of us to jackpa. She was talking at the palace of the Orni of Ife, Obadeye Ogusi, on Thursday. She said that her husband, President Bola Metinubu's administration, is still very young and he is only trying to fix the country and secure its future. This uh, part, uh, this, uh, <laughs> he said, uh, this is part of the one I want to quote. He said, we know that subsidy has been removed, but with God on our side in the next two years, Nigeria, Nigeria will be greater than this. Those who attempted removing subsidy before could not see it through. But with your prayers, in the next two years, we will build a nation for the future. We give glory to God for our status, uh, myself and my husband. We are not greedy, but we thank God and God for what God has done for us. Okay. It is not common for rich people to get to this seat, but I am grateful to God. We cannot disappoint Nigerians. And with the help of God, we are getting to the promised land in no distant time. Okay. She finished her speech by disclosing that she was an alumni of Obafemi Awolo University and if she was donating one billion naira to the university for a development and advancement. So I'm the going. Same this thing. is where I'm, me, I'm going. Huh? The same thing they this, have been lying. Is, no, they no, let put me, everything. Do you see how many gods? No, no, no. You don't understand that I'm pre when I say I'm prepared, I'm prepared. This is. Do where, you see how many this, gods? This is where me. <laughs> they, <laughs> do you see how they deceive where, us? My oh, they make us like religious. No, no this is where. No, no, you didn't just say that. This is where see I say. See how many gods is in that statement? That is if the one that. If that should come, every time you mention the name of God, if let God just fire somebody. I kept saying so. She didn't. You will see how she's all over Nigerian table. So I everywhere. I'm I'm genuinely worried about I'm just tired. this generation. God because there are so many things. 
for my generation that we don't understand, right? <laughs> there, there are a lot of things happening and I'm, I'm wondering if this is even real, if any of this is real. And I'm just, I see them doing the whole drama and I'm trying to imagine what, what people are going through, what the ordinary man is thinking, watching, the t watching TV, oh. and hearing you say it's not common for the rich to, to get, get to, to power, but we thank God. God! I cannot, I cannot for Let the love of you. me. How many God is in that statement alone? Because One. Nigerians are under a, a religious delusion. They know that we are so gullible. Anything you serve to Nigerians on the platter of God, even the things that God has given us wisdom to do, we still rely on God to feed us. You say, oh God, what do we pray to God for? We have natural resources. There is oil, there is bitumen, there is gold, there is mineral resources in the country. And not any of these are being utilized. We still want God to come down and refine it. We are still a country that produces oil, still exports the oil out to be imported back in. Now we have a resident uh, 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 refinery. refinery. And you're expecting him to do charity. Is he stupid? Is he not in business for money? So is he not going to play the same game they play with people outside? <laughs> he wants to do business for money as investors. Do we have a call? We so what are we saying? Lydia, we no, no, I transferred Lydia. it. Good I'm morning, so sorry. Lydia. Hold on. <laughs> it is because our men have failed us. It is time for Nigerian women to rise up. I love what people are doing. But another thing I have to say is that our religious leaders have not are you still with me? Go ahead, yeah, can you please video. turn, your, turn TV your TV down? down. It's, please. Okay, okay. I said that. Okay, Lydia, call us back. Let's drop this call for you. Turn your TV, TV down, down and call us back. Call us we back. want to hear from you. Guys, you it's, see I'm laughing. Really it is not a laughter of I find this Paul comical. Yeah. It is a laughter of I want people you fed yawa. Because I, I, I want our religious leaders. <laughs> if, it, if, the, if they want to talk about Titan offering, he's on the tables of every church. But now that the people are wallowing in poverty, hunger and starvation, <laughs> we are not out there fighting them. And yet they will say, our first lady used God. How many times? Six. And when every time you hear that God, they just say, oh, Please, can God, I say something? God. I'm coming down. Unfortunately, I apologize. It's like I've transferred this thing to a lot, lot today. Oh, God. During the Buhari administration, we thought things were bad. And yes. we thought it couldn't get worse. worse. And it has gotten worse. And if you listen to a lot of financial analysts, it's likely going to get worse before worse it up. even starts to turn around and get any better. And what I want to say is, you put it as a political ambition to become president of a country. You may not know everything about the inner workings and what you're going to meet, but a year plus down the line, you're now president. And the same exact thing that your predecessor and predecessors before that were doing, pointing the finger back, back to the person before you. You've now made it almost it. like a policy. It's a tune we hear from so many ministers. We heard it from the foreign affairs minister, uh, no, women affairs minister Kennedy. Um, uh, the, she said it recently as well. Yes. When she was donating some, I'm coming, Drew, just hold on. When she was donating about a couple thousand bags of rice. But I say this to say this. At the end of the day, you wanted to be president. You took on this responsibility. We didn't ask you to take on this responsibility. Do the job that you put yourself forward to do if this was management you would not have this job of course you, you would have been fired as a leader of a company saying that it was the person before me that did so and so and a year later i've not been able to do anything to make change we have jude on the line <sighs> hello jude good morning, yes, good morning. <sighs> please go ahead can you hear me? yes we can yes. I, I want to comment the i want to comment the program i want to comment the program you see, it's unfortunate in this country, highly unfortunate in this country, that this set of, I, I, this set of leaders are not even bothered with what is happening in the country. They are not feeling the pain. Where I am now in Delta State, I'm buying fuel for 1,400 naira, 1,500 naira. Can you imagine? The children have to go to school. How are we going to survive in this country? <laughs> Jude, if you it ask us, we don't have an answer for you. Nobody I'm surprised and so disappointed that some persons will come and begin to say that Nigeria should be a dear what? They are using the, the federal resources to buy vehicles, to buy everything. It's unfortunate. We can't continue to be here. They should take notes. They should take notes. We are getting to the boiling point. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. If please, I, I want to beg Catherine. Catherine, you people beg me to come back. Catherine, please uh, come back. You I cannot fully continue understand. to be like and this. Catherine, I, please I, come I back. want to say something, but I don't want to get overly emotional. Everybody is emotional. We're all crying. So we are children. I've been I, close to tears this I, whole I, show. As I had, um last week, I think last week Saturday, I got I got a call from a woman. She's remotely close to me. And she was asking me that. She knows that I work at a TV station. She's scared to watch the news. And all she's asking is, what is happening? Why are they suffering this much? Like, I cannot, I, I'm, I'm literally in panic mode every time because I'm so scared about what is going to happen. Yeah. So you don't know what, what next week is going to look like. So you're scared to overspend. You don't yeah. want to eat too much what? so that you can save some money in case. Like we're literally saving for the rainy days. I, I can't. It's a thunderstorm. There's it's a, a number of people who have messaged me for asking money? me for. Before now, I used to laugh yeah. at people that say I would do any job. Ah, but now it's, it's not funny anymore. People just want to do anything. They're ready to learn on the job. Do you know how scary that is? Let me shock you. I mean, I will tell some people they will not believe. I said. Do you know how many days I've had to take public transportation because I enjoy it? Because if I keep calculating how much I would use to enter taxis and this and that. Yesterday I was in the bus and I saw three women sitting on the table. I swear to the, to the two of you, three of those ladies had three, three bags each. Inside everybody's bag, one had juice, one had granite, one had something. Because everybody is doing more than one thing. To be able to survive and make ends meet. Let's let's take the call. Hello, good morning. Emmanuel, I believe. Uh, Emmanuel is in Okay, Emmanuel, uh, talk to us. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, Emmanuel. Uh, um, I just want to appeal to you ladies to so take this easy. Don't go and get a uh, high PP for Nigeria issue. Please, Nigeria has been, has, been, has been in existence before we came. And Nigeria will still be in existence after we leave. So let's just try to calm things down. Please, the, the ladies working out of the set and all that, please, let's just try and take this thing. Okay? Because when, when, we, when we carry everything on our head, the way, the way, the way things are going now, I don't think... It's just, the, the, the way the country is going, I don't think uh, if, we are, if we continue boiling this way, we can even uh, uh, lead to provide solution for, 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 for the problems in, 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 the, in the country. Then coming to the uh, Apabio's issue, Apabio failed to, 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 to draw the line between love of country and uh, trying to survive. Mm. Understand what I'm saying? Because what, you, you, you ladies are boiling now. You are boiling because you want the country to work. Yes. That's the reason why you are boiling. And that's the reason why you are, you are, you, the, the, the thing is hurting you. Because you want the country to work. Not that, not that you don't love the country. Because if you love the country, that is why you are trying, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are uh, acting the way you are acting now. But I thought you said to draw the line between love of country and trying to survive. Because why, 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 why the, complaint, the complaint in the country now is uh, uh, people trying to survive. Things are getting harder. Yes, so let's just try and take this uh, 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 easy. Because, uh, and it's also coming to uh, uh, our first lady. So, you know, they are, they are up there, and we are down here. So they don't know what, what we are passing through. And what about you say, we don't love country. And I know how many of my friends that are, that are abroad, that, that we wish that we were chatting, they will keep them there and even them there and The freedom they enjoy, they, they enjoy uh, back from there. They don't see the freedom over there. Oh, the, 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 the love of country is there, and our first lady, please, each time she wants to make a remark, she knows that people, 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 people are, ang are angry. People are angry, so she knows she should, she should speak as someone that is high there, that is trying to make him do that, that is trying to make him right. So that's my contribution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I see all these wisely, all these donations they make individually, and yet there is a lacuna everywhere we look. When you give the money to the school, the one off donations that we know that by the time he hits the school account he's going to, by the time the school is, is the, what the school you know when they say something hits mm -hmm. and you only feel like a drop of sand mm -hmm. boom mm -hmm. that is how some of these monies all the lecturers that are hungry before 
So when they drop the one million, you think it's going to infrastructure hello, hello, development? Excuse me. One billion. billion. I, I said the one bi billion. I want you to when be right. The one billion they drop. You think that is going straight into infrastructural development of of uh, any school? When there are hungry lecturers that have not been paid? But my 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 see. One billion, where did you uproot it from, number one? Exactly. You are giving it to OAU. ASU has been on the case of, of the government for decades. 2009 agreement has not been implemented. Madam, you just off one billion from somewhere and so say you are would, giving to OAU. Maybe it's because no, it no, is your it. alma mater. Maybe they were sold. Yes, remember maybe she they was sold a, a, from October 1st. Uh, was uh, uh, remember she was a senator for how many years? Uh, so she has money. We have another phone call. Okay. Michael from Lagos, please join the conversation. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, morning. Michael. Um, it's, it's so sad to uh, what we see in this country and uh, the way people take it from different angles. Like the last caller said, some people tend to take it sentimentally and uh, because they are uh, maybe affiliated to a party or to a tribe and uh, they tend to take it the way they want to take it to satisfy their own conscience, which is the problem we are having in this country. We don't have a centralized interest. We don't have um, uh, the hard love that is uh, genuine for the country. And uh, I just want to, it, it, it's so sad because discussing, we've been, these are issues our parents discussed and today they are no more. Do you get we are here discussing the same it? issues. I don't know, I just pray our children will not come and uh, Keep continue for where we stopped. That was also the problem because we grew up seeing all this mess in the country, and today we are here and we are still it's even getting worse. I've lived outside the country, I know how things are done out there. It's completely different from what we see in Nigeria. Absolutely. Completely different. Just look at the case of EFCC and um, well, yeah, convicted yeah, governor and all those dramas yeah, happening. Really with the anti-craft uh, uh, agencies and uh, judiciary and all that. Mm -hmm. We politicize every segment. We, we just, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know. Everyone in government has interest in either in the oil sector or in one particular. So they all do their things to benefit their selfish interest. If you tell somebody to deregulate or to pay subsidy, he looks at, okay, where is my own coming from? Well, how how will it of benefit to me? Before any policy or rules are, 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 are done in this country, they look at the end product. How will it come as an interest or benefit to me before they pass it? That's a problem. I just pray that, uh, I don't know, God will help us. <laughs> God will help us. You, oh, uh, you know, as you mentioned, Yahaya Bilo, I think it was the cable that did um, a graphic about six plus houses, I can't remember, I know it's more than six, that he bought. This is one governor in one state, Kogi, and Kogi is one of the smallest states in yeah. Nigeria, receives some of the, receives adequate enough. When you hear, like, when we do elections, and I hear the number of people in certain states in this country, I think to myself, these states what have no state? reason yeah, looking like states. they look. And I bring that up to say, while we may talk about the Senate president, his role, his comments, and talk about the First Lady, and focus a lot on the president, Guys, we cannot forget what our governors are doing. This is an issue where everybody needs to share the blame. The president, the governors, the National Assembly, they must share the blame for the state. I don't want to cry. I've already cried. They must share the blame for this because Nigerians do not deserve this. 200 plus million people do not deserve the current state of this country. But you see, then again, we are a very emotional people, first of all. We have to, we, uh, I think it, it, it's, it's an, something, is an it, do you have APC no, stamped no, no. on your forehead that will take no, no, you no. to the field station and they'll sell 500 dollars for you? Do you, do you take APC to, hold the, to on, the market? Mama, hold on. We have been accepting these things for years. When Annie was here, Annie would sit here and say the same thing. We have allowed, I don't want to use the four letter word, but people who know me, know me what I want, know what I want to say. We have been allowing that to go on for years and years and it goes round in a circle. There are people who are benefiting from government at the federal level, state level, local government level. People are talking from both sides of their mouths until we learn how to say no. Even if we are dying where we are dying, we have to decide to take the bull by the horns. Sinon, rien ne va jamais changer. 
So no, Maybe that, is that well, the let's, I asked? let's take Kelly. Sorry, because time is go Kelly is calling Kelly. us. Um, Kelly, talk to us. We're wrapping things up. You're our last caller today. <laughs> Kelly, please turn off your TV. <laughs> okay, good morning, sisters. Good, good morning. morning. Okay. My own is that the federal government, you know, good administration started. Two key things were done at once. It devalued the mirror and it totally is gone. Was our first shocker. That was last year. That's so shocking. my own is that this one, you're not even starting with this um, gas. Opening a site that Okay, well, cars are from France, France and all that. Our uh, government are just doing this. That's what I think. I'm sure there is something probably that the Western world has promised them on this gas again that they really invested on. I just think that this square of the thing, they just want to frustrate Nigeria. That when the square is just keep getting up, then they will look at the side they are looking at this thing, the gas that they are now shouting. So, what, what, how, how, how is the, how, why is the presentation going to work? Has been used to swell and all that, then convert. So, how many trials, how many uh, uh, experiments have they done that they don't want to protect? I don't think it's a suppression because it's what they can do. Baba is in Abuja, he kept quiet all this while we are suffering, and he's very well saying anything. The Minister of Power, uh, Minister of Petroleum, he's not saying anything on the Petroleum. But I don't know it, is, but I know. Thank you, Kelly. You see, because of time, I apologize. Yeah. Ladies, 30, 30 <sighs> seconds, we need to go. No, no, I'm done. The right. way the God factor that we all propagate everywhere is one of the things that is killing us in this nation. I don't believe so, because allow people to hope. Hold on to hope whatever, is hope not a strategy. The so where is the strategy? So, so how do we, how do we fight this? this? Yes. So what do we Prayer. do? We work. Catherine Why is talking. We work? We've been talking about standing up and, and fighting. Who are we fighting? We've been saying this for the longest time, and I've been asking, who are we fighting? Who is fighting what? The, the middle class are waiting for the poor people to fight. The poor people are collecting bag of rice. And even when you decide to fight, they're shutting you down. So who is fighting what? They're okay, maybe, so we, we all die here. We all die here. here. We, all die here. God, like, we all die here. God will do the things. Is God going here. to take a spoon and put food in your mouth yeah. when he has put food on your table <laughs> is that what we are saying if we shut down yeah, Jessiri for a week and go to the government there's nothing that will still happen if we go to abuja and we say okay we're not doing Jessiri, all the women come out I you, you were talking about being, being with your brother there's maybe nothing that would happen need, no maybe they need the mother of all protests you know when everybody Downs their tools across the country. I I, I don't I, I don't mean one person. Ten seconds. seconds. That's good. I get where you're coming from. Blessings, yeah. but at the same time. We need to go back to the drawing board and change strategy. That is the only way. We're okay. doing things the same way. They say, if the formula is not broken, why change it? The formula has broken 30. We need to change it. And Senator on that Kassar. note, I'll say one thing. We're all playing with fire. Yeah. And the protest that will happen will be one that is unplanned. Oh, yeah. mm. Nobody is prepared for. Yes. And it will carry all of us. Continue like, to do what you're doing. China, sir. Thinking <laughs> that nothing will happen. The day it happens... We'll all be we'll surprised. Be Honestly, I pray and hope that that day will come when Nigerians will wake up and say enough is enough and face all this our wicked and useless uh, leaders. Honestly, is only politicians that are benefiting from this thing that is happening in Nigeria. I pray that Nigerians will wake up one day and face these criminals. Honestly, my people, I hope you guys had everything they said here. I would love you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section as always please subscribe if today is your first time share the video to your friends and family so that they will get the opportunity to listen to it as well give me a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend this video to other people to watch thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next update goodbye for now